in Luxembourg, another demolition team tried to drop a different cooling tower. But because the demolition contractor made a significant error, it fell on a nearby factory. and the team hope to avoid the same fate. Oh, yes. The American demolition team has begun to load the explosive charges into the cooling towers. And team member uh, Tom Dow Saturday, knows Sunday. that no two demolitions are ever Remember the same. Four deliveries, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. You can't walk into any structure and say, oh, this is another concrete building. Whether it be construction type, whether it be proximity to adjacent structures, they all have their own, their own challenges. One of the most daunting things about the towers is their size. They are 88 meters high with a 184 meter circumference. Engineers designed these towers to push air upward. The cooling towers dispose of the excess heat generated by the nuclear reactors. After powering the turbines, the steam is pumped to the tower and sprayed on the walls. The tower draws air inside and funnels it up, creating a natural draft. As the water moves down, the draft cools the water. Most of the cooled water collects in the catch basin and then is cycled back to the reactor. The tower design harnesses the wind. And being on the coast, there's a steady supply year round. The weather around at Satterfield is it, pretty unsettled generally. It's probably not one of the nicest places of, uh, of sort of a, the Cumbria to be at times. It can be quite wet and quite windy and quite wild. What works for the towers hinders the team. <laughs> 